Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin Report for Thursday, April the 28th. And um, as you know, well, as you may know, the, um, the crypto market is really moving with the equity market and we need to really sort of pull them all together. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So there's a couple of ways we can look at this uh, Bitcoin here. One of them is having because oh, anyway, with wave one here and then an A wave, a B wave and a C wave over here for wave two and then down for one and back for two and so on. So, um, you know, when we look at, uh, when we look at, um, we looked at the things, look at the stock 50 yesterday, didn't we? So with the stock 50 here, we're looking at, at uh, well, wave one here and wave two over here. And we're looking, we've got the A wave in and the B wave. We're looking for one and two and then three, four, five up here for that so when you sort of consider that process as one two three four five here then based on that one two there then we're looking at this scenario of one two or maybe the one two is already done and dusted in here um, already pulled back in there probably has um, so we're in that sort of third wave here so we've got one two three four five here how far that will pull up I'm not quite sure but um, if it pulls up here and then locks back under the 40 here, then we can short it to the downside of that point. So there's a couple of things here. I mean, it could be that we've got wave one in this little move here, and we've got wave two here, as I pointed out yesterday. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure which one is going to be here, but um, I know that it's moving in line um, with the, um, you know, with, 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 with the equities. Uh, uh, as, as such. So with the S&P, if I can just bring that across here. <clears throat> so we've got down for one here and we're looking back for wave two here. So we've got the A, um, yeah, I'm not really sure about the B wave and all that. That could be wave one here and two here and going up for three, four, five. Um, so I'm not sure if it's, which, which one is correct here. It's probably, probably this one. And then we can look at this as as one and two there because that's an A and a B and a C. I can see that it's not five waves, it's an A, B, C. So that would be like that. And then we'll look for wave three up here somewhere, wave four, and then wave five here for C of two. So, you know, if the equities are moving in line with, um, <clears throat> you know, with Bitcoin, then that's kind of where we are really with it, you know? So we're looking for one, two, three, four, five for the S&P 500. And we're doing the same here, one, two, three, four, five. So it's kind of same, same. So let's just allow that to um, to play out. We'll see where we are at, um, at that point, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you know, this could be, how far this comes up could be, is that two, probably a bit low. You never know, probably a bit low, yeah. Um, anyway, we'll see we'll see how it comes up and how it works through group one here as well. So uh, 41,000, 42, and 43. I mean, if it found support on 43, well then that would be the top of group one. We would need to be more bullish at, um, at that point, you know, but uh, leave it there for the time being <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah so let's just see how that goes um like i mentioned before that we would need to see this is group two below here 36,000 36,500 i can't get it there at 37,200 close there so basically this is group one above and group two below here. So that's the swing range that the market can swing in at, for this price point here, but getting support here or resistance here, and then, then, then it's clear which way it goes, you know, but inside here is where you can lose money and you just need to be a little bit careful. Um, and normally just need to wait for it to, to um, mature to a point, I mean, it kind of looks bearish it's coming in that direction these patterns look corrective uh here whichever way you look at it um 
but they can rally and still f come further down. So anyway, I'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, so until we get support on this with the classic trading level pattern to the upside or here to the downside, we just need to be a bit mindful about what we do here. And I think, um, you know, this could be labelled in many different ways. Um, if you've got it labelled differently, well, you, you know, shit, you could be right and I could be wrong, you know, quite easily. That's why I sort of see it. Um, I think my only saving grace is, is you know, working it with, with, with these markets all doing the same, you know, the, the European markets, the Asian markets, um, uh, and, and so on. So I think we just, if we stay with that while it's working, I think we should be sort of okay at that point. Um, I won't go in and pull this apart, but if it moves up here, then we'll break it all down and we'll nail it down uh, in tomorrow's video. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.